does work. Finally, we can start. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, and most importantly, our determined graduates. We gather here today to celebrate a journey of perseverance, growth, and achievement. This ceremony is a testament to the fact that success takes many forms and arrives sometimes on its own timeline. Each of our graduates has demonstrated the courage to face challenges head on, the commitment to their education, and the strength to rise above many and any obstacle. Today, we applaud not only the completion of academic requirements, but also the triumph of resilience. The path you've walked has been marked by hard work, dedication, and the unshakable belief in your own potential. As you don your caps and gowns, remember that this moment symbolizes far more than a piece of paper. It represents your determination to overcome, your commitment to learning, and your readiness to embrace the future. So to our graduates, we extend a warm welcome to this well-deserved ceremony. Your journey has been unique, and it's a testament to your individuality and strength. Congratulations on reaching this milestone, and may your futures be as bright as the paths you forged to get here. Let the celebration begin. Let's give them a round of applause. Before we begin, I'd like to invite everyone to please rise as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm gonna need some help. I may have forgotten the words. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I wanna thank and recognize all of our central office administrators and school administrators who have also joined us today. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, we appreciate their support in helping us celebrate our graduates. At this point, I'd like to invite Dr. Malakio to our podium as our first guest speaker. Dr. Malakio will be followed by our school board president, Mr. Jim Thorpe, for a few words as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Uh, glad to be here. I know it's a little stuffy. We're trying to get this. Uh, my glasses are even fogging up a little bit here, but um, good evening. And uh, on behalf of district administration, I know we got our board president speaking, but I want to speak on behalf of the board. More than 2,700 uh, staff members, I would like to welcome everyone. Thank you for attending this very, very special graduation ceremony for our summer graduates. I want to thank and recognize the staff for their incredible work and dedication to providing these students with the very best education. I would also like to acknowledge and thank all of our staff members who go above and beyond to create a great learning environment for these students. Parents, those of you who are here, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and all other family members, thank you for the many years of love, kindness, and support that you have shared with these young adults. Your efforts do not go unnoticed and play a huge part in getting these students to where they are today. Thank you. So let me start by sharing a little bit about the class of 2023. They began their freshman year like any other freshman class, excited about their high school experience. Four years to prepare themselves academically, emotionally, and physically for what lies ahead after high school. At that time, four years seemed like forever. Then about three quarters of the way through that first year, their world, our world came to a screeching halt. COVID-19, a worldwide pandemic, lockdowns, masks, vaccines, and Zoom meetings became the norm for almost three years. Included in all of this ch change was a new way to go to school. Online, hybrid, and even in-person learning looked different with, a ma with mask wearing and social distancing. The class of 2023 saw it all, lived it all, and will no doubt remember it all for many, many years to come. Every experience in our life, especially those that only occur every 100 years, provides us with opportunities to learn, to grow, and become a better person. Students, I ask you, what will you take out of this very unique four-year high school experience plus summer school? You learned how to adapt, change, and be flexible. You started your ninth grade year in a classroom. The year ended at home. The next year brought hybrid learning, spending time in school, and online. You figured out how to get assignments done, communicate with your teachers, and even build friendships with classmates. You, became back, you came back to school wearing a mask and keeping your distance. In just four years, and again, with our summer program as well, you were able to adapt to a new way of learning and become successful. That is a skill and ability that you have and can use for the rest of your life. Students, don't waste this moment. Be those innovators that we all know you can be. Our country has a long history of innovation, creativity, creativity, and always striving to be better than the generation before us. You have lived through an experience that has taught you how to do that. 
You have been given the skills and tools you need to succeed in your life's pursuits. You have the love of family, friends that will support you through the best and worst times. Seize that opportunity. You have proven to yourself that you have the determination, commitment, and ability to accomplish your goals. The proof is right here. On these diplomas, each one with a single name, a name of a successful student. On behalf of District Administration, the Board of Education, I want to once again extend my most sincere congratulations to the young men and women graduating this evening. I look forward to seeing great accomplishments from the class of 23 summer school. Congratulations. I don't know what Dr. Maleka was talking about with the, the air-conditioned building. Not every graduation is in an air-conditioned building, so we're not frying in the sun today. Uh, what I wanted to do is just really kind of relate a story. Uh, when I had graduated college, I continued to work in a summer job that I had had when I was a student. There would usually be about 40 or 50 of us uh, with this company, and we'd relocate to different parts of the, the U.S., but what would happen is we'd be there to motivate each other, to help each other get up and get out there and go to work for the day. At the end of the summer, though, all the students returned, and I was out there alone. And I had to be the one that motivated myself to get up, get out there, go to work, get the job done. You've all been in that situation or will be in that situation at some point. Whether it's not having a, a graduating class of 400 around you or being in a small classroom with maybe a dozen at some point in college. But the important skills you have to get is, why are you doing this? Are you doing this for yourself? Are you doing this for somebody else that's important to you? Are you doing it to prove that you can get it done? That's a very important thing. So for the fact that you're here, that you've completed everything, is a huge first step, more meaningful than what a lot of students get. And it's a very important skill that you're gonna have going forward. So to the graduates, congratulations and good luck in your future. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Maleko and President Thorpe. Uh, before we begin recognizing our students with their diplomas, I'd like to thank our parents and families. So if we could give them a round of applause, students turn around. The achievement and accomplishments at the class of 2023 can boast really wouldn't be possible without the support of family. Thank you and congratulations to you as well. This is as much yours as it is your child's. Lastly, I wanna thank our students. I appreciate you for all of your work to get to this point. The accomplishment of a high school diploma is commendable. We know that the lessons that you've learned inside and outside of the classroom will translate into continued success for your future. And now the reason we all got here, um, the best part of my job, the presentation of the diploma. So I'd like to welcome our high school principals that are here in attendance with us, Ms. Hassan, Ms. Elkadre, and Ms. Elkadre, please come forward. I would also like to invite uh, one of our counselors that's here with us, uh, Ms. Genovia Peterson as well. And the students from Fordson High School and the Magnet High School, if you guys would come stand over here, if Fordson would go first and then Magnet behind them. So students, here's how it'll go. You'll, you'll come up this way. You'll hand the card to uh, your high school principal. Uh, she'll read your name, uh, hand you the diploma cover, and then you guys can come through here. Uh, parents, if you guys want to get up and move around and, and take pictures, you're more than welcome to do that. All right. Yep. You want me to do it? Khaled Ali. Ali Saad. Congratulations.
Jonathan Brandstatter. Congratulations. Okay. Wanna take a picture? Congrats. I'm going to welcome the school board who will now pronounce you as graduates. Uh, I see a few with uh, tassels on their cap. So um, make sure your tassel is on the right. So this side. There you go. Yep. Put it on the other side. All right. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. On behalf, On behalf of the staff, staff of the Dearborn, Dearborn Public Schools, Schools and, and by, by the power vested in us by the state of Michigan, we now pronounce you graduated as a Dearborn Public Schools class of 2023. Now you, now you can move your tassels. That makes it official. There, over. There you go. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us today and congratulations again to the class of 2023. We're eager to hear about your life successes as proud graduates of Dearborn Public Schools. Uh, in the back of the room are some light refreshments. Feel free to join us there and feel free to take as many pictures as you want um, and enjoy this momentous occasion. I know our superintendent, Dr. Maleko, and our uh, school board would love to get you guys in pictures. So again, thank you all for uh, coming and congratulations again, graduates. Thank you so much. <laughs>